Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro, with another Motion Monday tutorial for you. Now I do apologize, I'm still recovering from being sick, so my voice is a little shot, but we're gonna do the best we can. Today we're gonna be creating this really nice, clean looking animated transition in motion. Also, if you are a patron, you can actually download this transition right now and you can slap whatever logo you want into it. So obviously the first thing we're gonna wanna do is open up motion. If you do not have a project browser here, you can go on up to file new from project browser. Once we have the project browser, we're just gonna select the final cut transition and then we're gonna go up into our presets and set this to 4K or 1080 whichever you prefer. After that, we're just gonna select our frame rate to something like 29.97, leave the duration at two seconds or set it to two seconds if you don't already have it there. Then just push open. From here, you can see in your timeline that you have transition A to transition B. So anything that happens over the top of these two transitions is what is going to happen in Final Cut Pro. So we are just gonna create a nice rectangle shape that goes over the top of these two transitions. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is select the rectangle shape. We're gonna click and just set that to any size, it does not matter. Jump on over to the inspector. We're gonna disable the outline. Then we're gonna go over to geometry. We're gonna drag up the roundness to 50 there and then jump down into the size parameters here and we're gonna set this to 3840 by 2160. And that is for a 4K timeline. If this is HD, you can do 1920 by 1080. After that, go over to your property settings, go down to your position, and we're gonna reset that parameter. So now this is perfectly centered at zero, zero. And I did an oopsie and forgot to put the rectangle at the beginning of the project. So just select your rectangle and push I for in. So now this will be over the entire duration of the project. Okay, so first I'm just gonna set the color on this rectangle. So I'm gonna go into my shape, go to style, and we're gonna change this color to kind of an orange thing. And I'm not a professional designer, so I'm sorry if this looks bad in the end. I think it looks good, it's just me, okay. So after that, we're gonna select this rectangle, go over to our properties, and we're gonna find the Y parameter, and we're gonna set this to negative 2160. So now this is push that rectangle completely off the frame down to the bottom. So after that, we're just going to duplicate this rectangle with command D and that will create a duplicate. And if we push command and left bracket, that will actually drop it in the group or you can just drag it down if that's easier for you. And then we're just gonna rename this to rectangle two. And then I'll do command D once again and we'll rename it to rectangle three like so, and then command left bracket to drop it down. Now on this first rectangle, we're gonna right click and we're actually going to group it because this is going to contain the logo within it as well. So I'm gonna set this as logo group. Select our logo group here. We're going to the properties and we'll find the position here. So you see it's negative 2160. So if I click this down arrow, we can add a parameter behavior and we're gonna set this to ramp. Now ramp is going to auto animate this whole thing for us, which is really nice. We just have to plug in numbers and it does its thing. We are going to take the start value here and we're gonna drag that up so that our rectangle is completely off the screen. And if you push shift, it'll actually do it exponentially faster. So we can just bring that to the top. 4,400 actually looks pretty good. It takes it just a little bit further than it needs to be. Okay. After that, we're gonna take our curvature slider and drag that all the way up to 100%. So now this will have a nice smooth ramp as it goes across and you can see the wipe happens perfectly over the top of our two transitions. Now we can go into rectangle two, go to our shape and I'm gonna adjust the color a little bit so it's just kind of more of a corally color. We're gonna select our ramp with command C and I'm gonna select rectangle two, go to the beginning with the playhead and push command V. So now our second rectangle is animated, but we're gonna wanna offset the ramps so we can actually see the multiple colors happening. So I'm gonna select the first ramp and I'm gonna shorten it to like a second here. And then we'll take the second ramp and we can shorten that halfway. And we're just gonna offset these till we're happy. And then select the ramp copy and command V on rectangle three. So now if we come down, we can drag that ramp all the way out so that everything is offset. So now we can select our third rectangle and we'll just adjust the color on that to be kind of a pinky coral. I don't know, I don't know my, my colors, whatever color you wanna call that. 
Okay, so now if we play back, and you can see we've got this really nice animation happening here. Okay, so the last thing we wanna do is let's go ahead and add in a logo. All we're gonna do to add in a logo is select our logo group here, push Command I to import and find your logo. We'll drop that in. Now we can go into our drop zone, select the type and we're gonna set that to drop zone. So now in Final Cut Pro, we can actually drag any logo we want onto this project, which is super nice. After that, I'm just gonna adjust the scale on this to 50% and you could actually click this down arrow and publish that if you wanted to be able to adjust the size of the logo a little bit later on and that's super handy really quickly before we publish it into final cut i'm going to select each of the rectangles go to the shape and we're going to publish the fill color so we can actually adjust how each of these colors look in final cut pro perfect and now if we push command s this will ask us what we want to call it so i'm going to just call it transition and I'm gonna drop this into my Final Cut Pro. And if I push publish, now we have it published to Final Cut. So if I open up Final Cut Pro, we can jump into our transitions here and we can just look up our logo, animated wipe transition. Here it is in all of its glory. So I'm just gonna click and drag that in between my two clips. And if I play it back, you can see it's working perfectly. Now let's say we wanna change the logo out on this. I'll just take this drop zone, click that, and we will find, I'm gonna put a like button and we will apply that clip. So now the transition happens and it has the like button, which is great. And we can extend out the length so you can use it easily for a client and get it looking exactly how they want. So I hope that was helpful to you. If it was, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing. And if you're a patron, make sure you download this transition so you can use it in your projects. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit me up if you have any requests and I will see you on Friday for a Final Cut Friday tutorial.